Yeah, we've got a couple rounds just today, and we're going to see another round tomorrow. But to get you through the next few hours, tracking some heavy rain through Monmouth County, what happens is by midday, we see some more showers and thunderstorms flare up. This is round one of today, really keeping an eye on that late afternoon and evening severe threat. All the risks are on the table, so I'll break down all the timing and that next round tomorrow as well in the 10 day. A few showers and storms out there now, but I want to get you ready for this afternoon and evening. So think about your plans, where you're going to be and when. The main area time of concern will be the afternoon and evening, but we do have and expect a couple of rounds of showers and storms, of course, this morning and then by later on this morning, but afternoon and evening. We're talking about gusts up to 60 miles an hour plus. That's a greater risk right now, but we're also looking at hail. And unfortunately, a tornado is not a zero risk today. So it's one of those days you want to make sure you have a way to get warnings turn those notifications on. We'll be covering it, of course, just in case, but really a good portion of our area in that zone. And also the flood threat, mo most likely across parts of New Jersey and the Hudson Valley. So in fact, we do now have a flood watch posted for parts of western New Jersey into the Catskills and the Poconos. Right now, we're expecting uh, heavy rainfall, and that could come down rather quickly. So we're talking about streams and creeks flooding, but also problems on the roadways. All right, no warnings out there now, but I am keeping an eye on this story right now, mainly in through Monmouth County, uh, continuing to push off to the north and east. You see that area of red and purple. That is heavy, heavy rainfall. You've got some lightning, so you've gotten that early wake up call. But that is pretty much it for now in our immediate area. Just keep in mind that our models are showing by lunchtime some more activity popping up, heavy rainfall and the gusty winds. But it's this line that has this concern, especially for later on this evening. As it approaches the Delaware Valley by about eight, nine o'clock, it comes on through with gusty winds and maybe some hail. So that is sort of the time period you want to kind of stay dialed into the weather at that point. And then tomorrow we see another round. We're in this stormy period through at least Wednesday. So we're actually get three rounds this week before things settle down. Outside of the storm threat this morning, we've got some fog developing and it's really muggy 70 degrees right now that dew point at 67. So keep that in mind up to 80 degrees today. Those southeast winds just continuing to pump that humidity, feeding these showers and storms. Temperatures only dipping into the upper 60s. Again, looking at that severe risk, especially evening into about that midnight hour. And then tomorrow, 76 degrees, so a hint cooler but just as muggy and we're again looking at that next round of showers and storms. So good day to just seen this all the time in the in those types of roadways. It just comes up super fast, super fast. And we're going to see a setup that will probably lead to scenes just like that. Flash flooding a concern right now. No warnings, but you see some showers and even some thunder from Monmouth County, Middlesex County. Nothing over Newark Airport, at least not now. That could absolutely change later this morning and then again this afternoon and evening. So from Yonkers, Patterson, Newark to Hempstead, be ready for that storm threat. We're talking gusty winds and a lot of humidity to go along with it. So I'll break down the timing coming up in the 10 day. Maria, thanks Put that in there, but uh, we're seeing it still a pretty active this morning in spots. No warning, so I'm going to start there, but we've had some thunder, lightning and definitely some heavy rain uh, near Sayerville down through Middletown at Sandy Hook, seeing some showers and just in the last hour or so you have these two little showers that have popped up uh, riding right along 78 between Plainfield and Irvington, but also into uh, Morris County pushing into Passaic County in another half hour or so. So that's the kind of thing we've got the next couple of hours, but watching later this morning and then again this afternoon and evening. So we're looking at rounds of storms today. Severe weather is a possibility. So with that, you could get those gusts over 60 miles per hour. Tornadoes that risk today isn't zero. So I want to make sure that you're aware and make sure you have those notifications turned on your phone. We'll be here covering it just in case. Of course, large hail also with those bigger storms, but a lot of slow moving storms with a a lot of rainfall, so flash flooding and flooding is also a concern, more widespread concern across our area. So looking at one of our models, already by 11 a.m., some pretty heavy showers and storms going. It is a line that after 3, 4 p.m. that we'll be watching excuse me, off to the west, moving eastward, that will have the damaging wind gusts as it moves across New Jersey, uh, the Hudson Valley, even the city. But you notice the time frame is late tonight. So again, you want to make sure that you're weather aware all day. There's that non-zero tornado risk. Uh, don't want to alarm anybody. Just want to give you that heads up that that's a possibility. And again, most likely seeing some of the bigger thunderstorms producing that hail potential across central and south Jersey. And as I mentioned too, that rainfall, a big concern. We already have a 
flood watch that's posted through tonight for portions of northwestern New Jersey, Pike Sullivan counties included there. But looking at our rain chances, we finally get a break, but really not until Thursday and Friday. And we are keeping an eye on a storm threat as we kick off the holiday weekend. So it's going to be a stormy next couple days. Certainly looks stormy right now at Staten Island, one of those areas that I think the camera will be a little bit wet in the next hour or so with those storms approaching. 70 degrees out there right now, a lot of humidity. Also seeing some patchy fog. So again, a lot going on this morning and into the day today. Up near 80 degrees. Temperatures will stay mild and muggy near 70 overnight. 76 for the high tomorrow with another round of showers and thunderstorms possible. And again, some of these may be on a pretty busy day. And it's really rounds of storms. We've already had some showers and thunderstorms this morning. Uh, but we are looking at even potentially some sun breaking through. But it is that best storm chance later on this afternoon with the flooding rainfall and the gusty winds that has us concerned. We've already had some of that heavy rainfall. No warnings out right now, by the way, just to put that out there. Uh, but keeping an eye on Staten Island, you've got some showers coming through. This was the batch that moved through Monmouth County that had a good amount of lightning with it and some of those gusty winds, uh, even a few spotty showers right now. But that's over the next few hours. It's by later this morning and midday that that term, you know, this escalated quickly. That could be a situation we find ourselves later on this morning. If the kids are starting summer camp right now, just make them weather where to thunder roars head and doors. Uh, this is a situation where you can go from maybe some blue sky overhead to downpours and lightning in half an hour. It's that kind of time scale. And then you see it through the lunch hour, scattered showers and storms. Some may be heavy at times. Then we'll be watching a line kind of take shape across Pennsylvania later on this evening that we expect to come on through between say nine o'clock and midnight here too with gusty winds and some uh, very heavy rainfall. That tornado risk today isn't zero. So I just want to put that out there too, that you want to make sure that you have your notifications turned on. We'll be here covering it all on, and follow us on Twitter because those alerts go out and we see even with that heavy rain threat now a flood watch. So all of the threats are on the table again this morning. Not a ton out there, but we're seeing some of the dark skies and showers near Staten Island and the expressway. Now it's 70 degrees that dew point in the mid and upper 60s. It is humid and that combination with for now light winds. We do have some patchy fog developing and for now Suffolk County under that dense fog advisory through 9 a.m. So here visibilities could be less than a quarter mile pretty quickly. 80 degrees today outside of all of that weather. Again, keeping an eye on that storm chance even through the early part of the overnight. 69 degrees overnight, 76 tomorrow. But again, scattered showers and thunderstorms, isolated severe, really starting by midday. It's going to be tough. We're looking at weather being a real issue for airports across our area, across our region. A shower moving on shore, approaching Brooklyn and Queens right now as we look live at Coney Island from Earth Cam. So we're already seeing some of the wet and stormy weather. And this is sweet. Leo out of White House Station, New Jersey. And Leo's looking out the window right now for those storms, but you want to stay away from windows once they get going, which will pick up again this morning, this afternoon and evening, and tomorrow even more storms. So I'll break down the impacts coming up in the 10 day. Maria, thank day and then some. So we have that severe risk again. It's lightning, destructive winds, but even some uh, hail possible, and that tornado risk today isn't zero, and those flooding downpours along with it. And you can see where the risk area is really everywhere, but central and South Jersey, especially kind of heightened risk with all of these factors. But just a friendly reminder, you know, I don't think we play up enough the risk of lightning sometimes. So just a reminder as the kids start summer camps and summer uh, activities outside. If you hear thunder, you're close enough to be struck. So go in a sturdy building. Hard top car would work fine. Wait 30 minutes until that storm moves out to resume outdoor activity. Uh, but don't get under a tree. Don't swim near water and don't touch metal conductors fences, wires, plumbing. These are all, tr uh, you know, tried and true. You want to keep that in mind as you go through the day today. So far, uh, we just have a few spotty showers watching one off the uh, Brooklyn and Queens right now and a few spotty showers in parts of Bergen County. And that's about it for now. But the next few hours, we'll see everything kind of ramp up. In fact, by lunchtime, some of us already looking at the gusty winds and the downpours with some of these showers and storms getting going for the midday into the early 
afternoon coming through the city and the Hudson Valley. We're also going to be watching a line kind of getting going through Pennsylvania later this afternoon and evening. So think rounds of showers and storms here too. By 8, 9 o'clock coming through with those gusty winds and that heavy rainfall. And even past midnight, can't rule out some of those showers and storms. And then we do it all again tomorrow. On top of that, we've got some pretty dense fog in parts of Suffolk County as we look into Nassau County right now. It is mild and muggy. 70 degrees, that dew point in the 60s. So watch that fog as well uh, during the morning hours today. Warm and humid uh, outside of that storm threat. You may even get some of that sunshine in here in between some of those storms. It's a watching, uh, especially severe weather risk for later on today, Maria. Yeah, it's all across our area today. So we've got the hail damaging wind gusts, flooding downpours, maybe even tornadoes, and then even the potential for tomorrow to see some severe weather. And I've got stormy weather in the forecast for Wednesday when we get a break. And of course, maybe a few of Mother Nature's fireworks for the 4th of July holiday. I'll time it out for you in the 10 day.